Okay, welcome to my video. We're going to be making a video showing how to join two pieces of film in Blender in the sequence editor. Okay, so to start with here, this little thing that shows what buttons are being pressed and on the mouse and what's being typed, etc. The first thing we want to do is set the resolution to the same resolution as what your camera recorded at. I'm recording at a super low resolution of 160 by 120. The next you want to do, thing you want to do is set the frames per second. In this case, it's at 24 frames per second. Then we want to pick where we're going to save our new movie to. In my case, I want to save it to my desktop folder. My baby's going to help also. Then we want to pick the format. If you leave it at PNG, it will save a whole bunch of individual pictures for each frame of video. You don't want that. You want it in a video format. I'm using XVID. Then you will make, want to make sure you get the right um, encoders, AVI format, and VIDX, which is a good format. But we have audio codec none. I want MP3 codec. So now this is all set up. Go over here. I press N. It brings up more information. And I'm going to move this over here so we can still see our window. Now we can switch by going to video editing. So you can see it gets rid of all the information down the side over here. I don't want that. So I'm going to go back to default view. And I'm going to go down here. And right now we're in 3D view. But I want to go and add sequence editor. And now we have sequence editor here. We want to have a thing at the top to see our video. So we click right here to do that. Now we add our movies. Our movies are in uh, Blender videos. So start with stuff in the hallway. This is a little thing going to the beach. Um, so we add the movie strip. And then now you can see the movie strip here. Then we want to add the next movie strip. So I'll get getting in the car movie strip and add that also. There seems to be a bug. It puts the one on top of the other, which is kind of silly. But so we have to click on this. We're going to move it. And we're going to click on the sound and move it up here also. Then we want to put the, oops, I moved the wrong sound. Anyway, we, we want to put this right on the one, which is right there. And the sound needs to be lined up, so it's also on a 1. And we're going to overlap these, so we can do a transition between them. 375 and 3... You can press Shift if it's going too fast, and then it gives you a smoother control. Um, so now they're lined up. So now we click on this video, it turns white. We hold Shift, click on this video, now we have both of them white. Now we add an effect strip, and I'm going to use a gamma cross, or you could use cross. They seem to be the same, but supposedly this is better. You can see up here we have a very little picture. We don't want that. We want a bigger picture. So we fit preview in window. There we go. Let's make it even bigger, because we've got a lot of room here. Let's fit preview in window again. We can also fit the strips, view all sequences, and there now they're all nicely fit in here. Now we can scrub along, and you can see there's a the stuff in the hallway, and now it starts to fade to the car. And there's my wife and kids, all blurry, and pixelated in the car. So that's basically all there is to it. To finish it, you're going to scroll up here. Oh, I'm going to turn on end again so you can see it. Um, if you click on any of these, like you click on this, it shows here path, getting in car, tells you what it is. If we click on the sound, it has a little sound thing right here. It's the image thing. So now this is a sound strip, so we can work on sound. If you click on the crossover, it tells you it's a gamma cross and replace. You can do all sorts of other type of um, effects, mathematical ideas with it. Um, and there's other settings. There's not so much on gamma cross, but on, on other um, effects you can add. There will be different settings here you can choose. Now we want to start the film when we re we're going to do the animation. Image will just give you one picture. We want to do an animation. This is where it starts on frame one, but we don't want to end on 250. We want to end the end of our movie. 
So that is right here, 575. So here we're going to type 575. And you can see it also changed it here. You could have typed it here also if you wanted to. And so everything's all set up. Now we just click animation. And you can see here it's going through the whole movie. And there it's finished. It's already saved. You don't have to do anything. You can press escape or click this back to the preview. And we're back here. So that's my video. I hope you liked it.